Hey guys, good morning or afternoon whenever you see this. I love you guys. I just want to tell you guys how much I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments and I appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, you say that I'm, I'm helping you because you guys help me too. It's nice to know that you're not the only one going through the things that we went through, right? So thank you so much for that. I really do love you guys. You know, yesterday my dude came home from work and he said, uh, he was happier than usual. And, and I knew that he would tell me on his own. And he said, you know, yesterday when I was coming back to the shop, he goes, the, the two dudes that work there, they pulled me aside and they said, you know, you're really an extraordinary person. And like, he is, we both are. But we didn't realize this until we, we left our family and friends, you guys. I said to him, of course you are. I've always seen this in you. I said, but when you're only around uh, miserable family members who want to use you as a scapegoat, you, you start believing in everything that they tell you. And when they only point out your flaws, you think you are just that, like, a, a, like just a flawed human being. And you're not. None of us are the mistakes that we made. That shit doesn't define who we are. And, and it, we both don't talk to our families. And our relationship is the strongest it's ever been. We're proving this. Um, I prove the things that I say. I don't just say things to say them. I'm actually proving it. It's funny too because the nun did a, um, a video a while back and the title was A League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and that was the first thing I thought of. And when she did that video, he was the first one I thought of, okay? And you could tell he needed to hear that, right? Most of us do. We're tired of only hearing about the shit that we do. You have to disconnect from people who only see the flaws in you and they don't see the flaws in themselves. And you're, you're going to see your entire way that you view yourself change. I said, we were always extraordinary people, but we didn't realize it. And it really didn't come out of us full circle until we distanced ourselves from people who were just ordinary. Okay. Um, I feel like they could be extraordinary too, but if you don't see that in yourself, then it's not going to manifest. So. That was a good thing. There's a lot of people across the world coming together, you guys, about this mandate. They're not having it. They won't show you this. Um, they won't show you this on the TV. You have to look for this on YouTube. People have videos of all kinds of countries, Austria, New Zealand, Italy, Greece, of people saying no. And um, this is what it's gonna take, you guys. We're so much stronger together than them and they know this people are starting to downsize they said well we just won't buy your shit anymore because we know that without us you guys don't work right the elites it doesn't work it's like i said when you're a business owner and you don't appreciate your workers bitch what do you have other than a name of a business in a building you can't do it yourself a corporation they can't do it without their workers you know but they, the workers don't know how how worthy they are so we're the same thing, you guys. We're the workers for them. And without us buying all of these things they put out in front of our face to keep us needing to keep up with the Joneses and keep up, keep up with what? We don't keep up with nothing. It puts us deeper in debt. So we are the employees that they need, you guys. So, you know, there's that, okay? Um, I don't know. There's just so much happening. It's why like, I don't just focus on, I don't want to focus just on the, and maybe it's easy for me to say because I have my Divine Masculine with me, right? But I just want you guys, females especially, to know your worth. And if you feel like things aren't working out with someone in particular, it's because the universe knows you don't know your worth, but this other person does, you guys, okay? And I feel like you're being isolated and put through things so that you can see how strong you are without these people or this person, whatever this is that you're going through. Because you, you no doubt, you adapt to the environment that you're in and you accept the love and the respect that you think you deserve. And when you're by yourself, you realize I'm a whole different motherfucker than I was around these people. Who was I when I was around these people as opposed to who I am now by myself? Both of us are so much better people, stronger people, more independent people, um, separate and together here, right? And I feel like, I said to him last night, I said, I feel like I had to pay karmic debt back to you, my friend. Because when I first met him, he did a little bit of meth, but he didn't smoke it. 
I can't snort anything because I just destroyed my sinuses like before when I used to do coke. Um, so he didn't want to smoke and I kept bringing it around him and then he started smoking it and then we were both addicted to smoking it. So now I'm responsible for keeping us clean off of it too. And that's how you repay karmic debt. So I made up for the, for the bad that I did with him. And I feel like people are being forced to make up for the bad that they did with you. But if you're in their environment and you keep taking them back or you keep going, hanging out with them or you keep going to family uh, dysfunctions, um, it's not going to happen, you guys. Okay. Yeah, but people are coming together all, all over the world. Because they know that we... Uh, I said three years ago when I had my awakening, have you guys been prophesizing shit and not realizing where it's even coming from? <laughs> but it's coming true and it's happening? Me too. And I said to him three years ago, it's going to take overthrowing the government. And it sounds, when you say that, it sounds impossible, right? How could we do this? It's happening, though. People are saying no. And whatever it takes, if, if they have to quit their jobs and sell things to survive and downsize and humble themselves and not not spend as much money, that's what they're doing, okay? If it means just um, not believing the shit that they were told and, and, and staying to themselves and isolating themselves and seeing how their life is with a little bit of changes, because as humans, we're definitely afraid of change. Right? Okay. Somebody feels like they're being ignored here. You look a little sad, boy. I wonder why. Heaven sent and hell bent. Uh, I'm glad that whatever I said yesterday uh, helped you think about how amazing you are. Okay? Because if that message was for you, like I said, when I put a message out, right? I try to get as much information as possible for you guys, okay? I'm not concerned right now about a cash app for donations and shit because I really genuinely, um, I want to build trust with everybody first. So I appreciate the comments about that, and I will. But right now, I just, I want to see the effect that I have, okay? So, I feel like, let me get, let me see. What, Archangel Michael, please protect me and those listening who deserve your protection today with your light while I receive this message and allow me to, to receive this message as clear and concise as I possibly can. And thank you for waking us up today, God. All right? One one step closer to our manifestation. Did you guys play get lottery tickets yesterday by any chance? Anywho. All right. Oh, somebody said, what's the, what's the gist of the message today, please? Or one of them? What can you tell me, please? Somebody's following somebody around. There's a chick following a dude. Following him around as well. Here comes that child orphan card again. Seems to be the father card and the child orphan card comes out a lot, you guys. So there's something happening here with healing from... Uh, deep-seated childhood issues and it's not just from this lifetime either because the reason we're having this awakening is so that we can do this this massive healing lesson learning and karma clearing okay this could go two ways too it always does okay because this is always like there's somebody who's learning to be independent and not codependent. So that's what this is. This is being independent. The light attribute and the dark attribute is being codependent. So let's see what we got here. Clarify this child orphan card for me, please. Clarify this, please. Okay. So there could be a Scorpio that wants to reconcile with you, possibly. Wants to make something right with you guys. Hmm. Why? Why would this be? If that's what this is, if it's not a Scorpio wanting to reconcile, then this could just be you healing from a past. Uh, if you had a rough childhood here, some of you really had a rough childhood. And I feel, let me see, what can clarify this tower and the Six of Cups here? There could be something that's happening with a child here too, with the Six of Cups, the tower, and the child orphan card. There, there's a tower moment in it happening this could be someone realizing something about a child could be a water sign here what is this 
clarify this nine of cups, please. Why is this nine of cups here, too? I feel like you're okay with your past, you guys. Yeah, even though that you may have had like a past where like you had a lot of conflict, maybe you just fought with your family a lot. Uh, you felt like you couldn't please them or you just couldn't do any right. It's like, so why do I bother? I feel like this is saying that like you're content with knowing that you came from a rough past. Um, yeah. Let me see this. It's like some of you are like, yeah, so I mean, I had this or I had a dad that wasn't there or I feel like my mom didn't really care like she did. Whatever it is for all of you, I feel like you're just, you're okay with it. You're okay with the fact that you came from a family that maybe fought and argued a lot. There could have been drinking, abuse, violence, but I feel like a lot of you are just saying like, okay, I can't keep dwelling on this and, and it stifles me. It keeps me from moving forward. <laughs> Yeah, maybe some of you were going back and forth like uh, some of you come from a family that's really unstable. <laughs> some of you had like, you know, an unstable childhood here. Maybe you uh, you went from family to family. This could be foster. Some, you know, there's some of you that were actually in foster care and shit with this orphan card. It is this uh, five of wands and two of pentacles. Like you could have been sent from home to home or this could be somebody else's child. This could be a, a child of a Scorpio here that's being taken away. The things have come to take you home. Somebody could be getting custody of a child here. I feel like a lot of you though are clearing out any kind of karma. Like there, there's something happening here where something's turning where there's a healing process happening, where maybe you were going back and forth with like um, talking about or thinking about your past as a child. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's a healing process though. Please don't let anybody tell you that you should be here or you should be there or however long it takes you guys, 12, 12, is, is everybody's healing process is different, okay? Um, if you're listening, be careful listening to people who uh, you can tell that they're not healed from childhood shit, okay? But whatever this is, that wherever you're at in your journey, I promise you this though, is exactly where you're supposed to be. Because when you see it as there's a lesson in everything and a blessing in everything, and then there's levels to the shit, you start to just accept the situation that you're in and realize there must be a reason for this. There's a reason for everything that we encounter, every person that we encounter. I firmly believe this because I'm experiencing this shit. Clarify this wheel of fortune. Yes. Okay. I'm never where I want to be. So some of you are just content. You're like, this is where it is. This is my life. You know? Uh, I, 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 I'm okay with chaos. It's almost like I find stability in chaos. I feel like a lot of you thrive in chaos, you guys. Because of the shit that you've been through in the past as a child, I feel like it's helping you. Some of you, okay, thank you, spirit guides. So for some of you, you're realizing, damn, I had a really rough childhood, right? And, and, and there was a lot of this, okay? And there was a lot of this, okay? But I feel like as you're moving forward, you're like, damn, like it's actually preparing me for what's going on right now. Because I'm pretty much in, in a world full of instability. I'm pretty much in people full of instability, okay? I'm one of the most stable motherfuckers around. I feel like a lot of you are realizing, based off what you're seeing around you, just how strong and solid of a person that you are. Maybe that's why, maybe because a lot of you are extraordinary people as well. Yep. Okay. Let's get some more. There's other people, though, who are stuck in this past shit, you know? Yeah, I feel like this is what you're doing. You're sitting to yourself. And you're saying, like, you're thinking about your past. You're thinking about maybe what you went through with your parents or your family. And you're just like, yo, I had a lot of competition. I had a lot of violence around me. I had a lot of jealous. Oh, it does seem like my cousin was jealous. Damn, it does seem like my aunt, my own mom, right? Or dad, whatever it was. And then you're like, you're finding happiness by yourself here. You're finding peace and solace and sol like in solitude. Clarify this for me. You could be... Uh, a Virgo, a Scorpio. What is this? You could be a fire sign, masculine energy watching this. Clarify this King of Wands, please. 
sweet dreams all made of ease. Some of you are getting these messages in your dreams. Did you, did you guys have a weird dream? Did somebody have a weird dream last night? There's a fire sign uh, that's feeling a little lost right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could be finding it difficult to be alone. Something that happened in the past with you guys. For some of you, something happened in the past where like maybe a fire sign disappointed you in the past. Or maybe you're this fire sign and you're realizing like as a child, like this could be specific for someone, a fire sign masculine energy here who maybe at first was playing victim about their past and what happened in their childhood. Somebody feels alone, lost. This could be part of the healing process for you though, my dear. When am I to disagree? <sighs> this, somebody, so <clears throat> with this Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is past life karma, right? I feel like there's a, there's specifically a fire sign masculine energy right here uh, who, who's clearing out a lot of past life karma. Hold your head up, keep your head up, moving on. Yeah, somebody's like, and, and this could be because they have a divine feminine in their midst. Somebody keeps moving on, they keep their head up. I feel like this person in the past, they were like this a lot. They didn't have uh, faith in themselves. They didn't believe in themselves. They felt like, well, what am I here for? I feel like this, there's a person here who didn't really feel like they fit in in the world. And it's almost like um, they didn't have any like oomph, you know, like no courage. And I feel like some of them want to use you. So this person could have felt like a people pleaser, right? Like, I feel like nobody ever really gave me back. It's like, I always was there for my friends. I always was there, I jumped for my family. But did anybody ever really do this for me? And if they did, did they throw it in my face? So I feel like there's somebody healing from this. A lot of you are too, but I feel like specifically there's a fire sign masculine energy here who's going through this healing process of seeing their worth now. And they may have felt alone as a child. If they had other siblings, they could have actually felt like maybe they were the outcast, okay? All right. Let me see if I can get another message here. Whew. I feel like somebody's just flowing now. You know, they're not resisting life anymore. They're okay if things don't go well. Because somebody's saying like, okay, well, I don't look at this as like a fly in the ointment. I look at this as like, if that didn't work out, it's because it wasn't meant for me. Or if this blew up in my face, then maybe it was a protection from God, right? It wasn't rejection. It wasn't somebody rejecting me. It was God protecting me. I feel like somebody's just okay. They're comfortable. They're like in a very good flow state here. They could have been in a constant state of resistance or feeling like they're victim or why is this happening to me? And I feel like somebody here is just like, okay, I get it now. Somebody's understanding about life where they maybe didn't before. I feel like they're being humbled here. I also feel like this person, if this isn't you guys uh, seeing that there's a lot of people who are wearing masks around them and it's like somebody was constantly hiding how they felt behind a smile, you guys. Constantly acting like everything's great. Yeah, sure. Hey, how you doing? And then when they're by themselves, it's like complete depression and low energy here. <sighs> Let me get another one here. Actually, I'm going to get one of these. Like mopey. I feel like somebody was just mopey. Um, that's how they really felt. But they felt like they had to put on a face for other people here. I don't think that they do this anymore. I feel like somebody's coming out of a dark energy. Okay? I really do. And I feel like they've been in this dark energy for a long time, you guys. Tell me more about this, please. They laugh now. I feel like they. this could be a sacred clown. This could be a Hayoka that's finally waking up. Like a male Hayoka, you guys. crown chakra somebody could have been like all up in their head maybe they over I feel like somebody was an overthinker I feel like somebody may be uh, healing a mental illness this could be like uh, schizophrenia or uh, bipolar disorder or so I just heard social anxiety so there could be somebody here who withdrew from society because that's how they really felt behind the mask, okay? But when they were around people, and it's like draining. Have you guys ever been like that? 
only come out at night. Like somebody's like, they, they slept all day and they were like a night owl and uh, they only were around people that maybe they felt were in a lower place than them because it made them feel better. And I don't even feel like it's like in a mean and evil way because there's some people who just, that they didn't even realize that was going on. They didn't even realize, like, why do I always want to be around people <laughs> that are down and out? And a lot of times it's because it, it made us feel better, right? Somebody, uh, hold on. This could have something to do with a female here. Yeah, somebody is successfully healing a mental illness. This could be a generational curse in their family. Seven and six, somebody could have been born in 76 here or 67, but seven and six are here. This person could have had this mental illness since they were about six or seven. I just saw the Empress card, so it could have been from a mother. This person's mother, uh, and I just saw the King of Wands. So this is definitely a fire sign here. And I feel like their, their mother may have had this mental illness. So they seen their mother wearing a mask their whole life. There's something here about realizing that the person that they were is not the person that they are now. And, and it's because I feel like they had to isolate themselves with that hermit card. They had to be by themselves and get away from a family unit or friends or put it in both. Tell me more about this. Look, there's that fire sign again. There's definitely an Aries Leo Sagittarius here, okay? And they could have found this out through work. This could actually be like a, a, a message for what I just told you about my dude, about being recognized at work, you know? But this is going to resonate um, for more than just him. So maybe this is a message to masculines, you know? I feel like somebody, somebody, the people that they work with are realizing maybe this, this is where, oh, okay. So like, it's like I said, this person was around people who supposedly loved them their whole life, but they made them feel like who they are behind this mask, right? Now, they're around people that are actually seeing them for who they really are, without judgment, without, without, they don't know his past. Nobody there knows the things that he did in the past. They're basing it off what they see now. When you're around family, they know your past and they don't ever let that go. It's like they factor that into the mold of who you are now and it fucking keeps us stifled, you guys. And then they get mad at us and say, why can't you do this? And how come you don't move forward? Stop fucking bringing up my past. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hello, stop doing it. Stop making yourself feel better off of my bullshit. Now, because of that, now they're in that mask in the front. That's amazing. It's amazing just the way you are. So somebody's realizing I'm fucking amazing just the way that I am. <laughs> it really is, guys. I mean, I cannot tell you enough how, yeah. I feel like people have made this person feel like this, like deflated and defeated. And I feel like they had to put an end to some shit here. And it could have been with a family or a mom, but some kind of devilish energy. There's some kind of energy here that's leaving somebody here. And with the crown chakra, I feel like it was mental. Yeah. I feel like somebody was stuck in a mental prison for most of their life here. Half my life's been ghost written pages. This person didn't think for themselves. They didn't speak for themselves. They acted exactly who the fuck everybody else wanted them to be. Live my life from fools, from fools and from sages. Yes. Somebody's literally freeing themselves here from a mental illness that ran deep in their family. And I feel like if they would have stayed around those people, I, look, I feel like it would have gotten a lot worse. Okay. All these lies. Yeah, this person couldn't manifest anything here because they were in this dark energy here. I feel like this person didn't ever feel like they were blessed. Uh, everything, because you're comparing it to other shit. And when you're around family members who keep throwing in your face like they're bought that, I bought this house and I bought that, it doesn't help, you guys. When, when, when you're the scapegoat in the family, the black sheep, and you come around us and you tell us all these new things, like you want to boast your shit, but then you want to wonder why you're, in, why you're in this fucking energy, right? Maybe it's because you guys won't shut up, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah, somebody couldn't manifest at all. 
somebody was stuck in such a dark mental energy that they weren't manifesting anything and I feel like this has changed or it's about to yeah they didn't believe in themselves you guys you know I don't feel like they believed in manifesting or energy and stuff and I just feel like this person's having a complete awakening and transformation here I really do live and learn from fools and from sages so somebody was learning about life from fools and, and with sages that this mother or people in their family could have been messing with dark magic all the things come back to you yeah I, some shit's coming back to some people too here I feel like somebody didn't yeah look Leo energy could definitely be a Leo here but somebody somebody didn't believe in themselves at all somebody didn't have courage if this was a, if a Leo here I feel like they were working more of the pride and ego side of this of this sign and not the courageous side okay and I feel like now somebody got stronger somebody realizes how fucking powerful and strong that they are why is it who is responsible for this look truth at the bottom right I feel like this has this probably has something to do with a divine feminine here. Yeah, look, Emperor, this is the divine masculine, you guys. This is a Leo divine masculine here. This could be an Aries, but I feel like somebody is now investing in themselves. They know who they are. They're confident in who they are. Yeah, somebody always felt like somebody had somebody went through a lot of shit. I feel like somebody had a difficult life here. And I feel like it was it was mostly mental though. I, I think it was mostly because uh, they were they were told things to keep them down in life and, and if they had a mother who had mental illness or something it was because that mother felt better if this child this masculine energy was down as well I feel like this person actually believes in miracles now you know it's like they believe in magic. do you believe in magic I feel like they do I feel like they have a whole new belief system here that's amazing This person could be a dream interpreter and not even know it. It could be a seer and not even know it. A Dremelec. <sighs> the good Lord will take you away. Beware of judging by appearances. So this person did that. I feel like when they saw people coming towards them saying, yeah, I just got this and I got that, and they weren't being honest, I feel like this person believed everything that they were told because they trusted these people, right? So when you have people around you that are like, yeah, I just bought a new uh, Porsche, or I just got a new this, and this person's going through struggle, I feel like they believed that that's where they deserve to be. They thought that if somebody came at them and said that they were doing great in life, they're realizing now that most of the people in their life were not exactly what they were. They weren't even close to who they were. They weren't even close, I just heard. This is great. I feel like somebody here is realizing like, yeah, I was based on my whole life and how I felt about myself by what other people were making me out to be and by the masks that they wore around me. This is great because this, this is like most people, this needs to happen, you guys. Leo, Leo energy. There could be a, a Libra. Maybe somebody's uncle was a drug addict and they were in jail. Maybe this person, right? Uncle. So this could just be strictly like family members. Um, who were coming off like they, they're okay so there could have been a lot of people in this person's family who were maybe uh criminals or drug addicts or you know and i feel like this person was kind of made to feel i don't feel like this was actually brought up a lot okay i feel like this person could have been on drugs and shit. they could have been locked up before uh they could there, there could be an uncle here that maybe they took after they could they could have actually just like maybe followed on the same path of an uncle here it could be a Libra uncle it doesn't have to be and maybe they felt more comfortable around this uncle because maybe this uncle wasn't more real like you know unlike everybody else in the family and shit on the run so they could have had uh, an uncle that was actually a, a no good This could also just be a completely different message here coming out that there's a Leo and a Libra that are in jail for drugs and, and they were on the run here. 
Let me find out. This could be a complete separate uh, message here. Tell me more about this. Uh, these people that are in jail for drugs. Yeah, I, mean, I, I really feel like somebody's uncle here was exactly who they were. I feel like, uh, you know, if you know how the black sheep, uh, us as being black sheep, uh, whoever the next in line for the scapegoat, we were more like them and we resonated with them and we got along with them. And then it's like, say these people get locked up or they go away or they pass away. And now I feel like, so this uncle could have actually been the scapegoat in the family, this person's uncle. And then when this person's uncle either went to jail or they couldn't pass away by now, then it's like now it's like the, the black sheep torch was handed down to this person. What is this, please? What is this, please? I feel like somebody had really bad social anxiety here. And yeah, I really do feel like so this person could have had an uncle that they actually um, considered the closest person to them because they understood them. This uncle could have understood this masculine energy. And I feel like when this uncle went to jail, this masculine energy felt broken hearted. Like now it's like, uh, who do I have that understands me kind of shit. Yeah. I feel like somebody really, really um, jived with their uncle here. Yeah. King of Swords. This person could have uh, actually listened to them, could have given them advice. This uncle probably protected them and took their side. And I feel like when this uncle went away, this person was kind of left like to fend for themselves against a whole family full of people that were just finger pointers. Hmm. Tell me more, please. King of Wands, yeah. I feel like this this uncle here, if this uncle was an air sign, because look how they're looking at each other now. I feel like they really like got each other, to tell you the truth. And I feel like they had really good conversations, like with the Ace of Pentacles. These, these, these guys could have even like been in business together, or they made money together. Even if they, let's just say they both sell drugs, you know? It was something they had in common. I know a lot of really cool drug dealers, you guys. I know a lot of really cool criminals. Smooth criminal. But I feel like, wait, smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. So maybe their, their uncle was a really good criminal. This could be like mafia shit. This uncle could have made a lot of money here dealing drugs. Oh, all right. So if there was an uncle in the family who was like, who was real successful, because you know, it doesn't end that way, right? Because obviously. Uh, when this happens, right? But I feel like this person's uncle was successful and, and this, this masculine energy went towards selling drugs because they seen their uncle doing it and they seen their uncle happy and this uncle probably did well and they probably felt like, well, my family doesn't get me anyway, so I might as well just follow in my uncle's footsteps here. Somebody here is dealing with karma for selling drugs as, too, uh, as well too in their past. Yeah, it was a financial opportunity that they probably used to buy a home or something. I feel like for a while this was working. But then once this uncle went away, I feel like this masculine energy like couldn't really do it by himself. Or maybe he started getting high on his own supply because you know how that goes. But somebody's somebody is not their past anymore. And I feel like somebody was judged strictly off of their past. I feel like they had a mother, possibly siblings, uh, friends who, who didn't help this person grow. They didn't help. Because they liked him better in that energy because it made them feel better about themselves, okay? I'm picking this up heavy, you guys, for a fire sign here. Okay. Every day there's more information I just heard. So maybe somebody's finding out information about their uncles or their family. And maybe someone's just learning more stuff and they're, they're open to learning. You know, we all have to be open to learning new information. Somebody that was playing victim, I don't feel like they play victim anymore. They realize, look, maybe maybe God came into their life or they came into their more God-like self and now they're realizing like they're not allowing, I just heard they're not allowing themselves to be victimized anymore. Ho, 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 ho. 34, 34, it just was. Somebody's not allowing themselves to be victimized by family or friends anymore. Ho, ho, ho. Somebody's finally standing up for themselves, you guys. It's a masculine energy. 
You can leave your friends behind. Yeah, because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Wow. Somebody left all their friends behind here, you guys. We can go where we want to. A place where they will never find. Maybe that's what you guys are doing with your dude. Like, if you don't rock the way I rock now, I'm not accepting friends in my life who don't respect me, who don't understand me, who don't want to get to know me for who I am deep down, who are using me. Yeah, mentor. I feel like they had somebody in their life that actually helped them do this. There's somebody else in this person's life that helped them see this side in themselves, okay? I mean, I have a feeling I know who it is, but who is the mentor for this person? Who is the mentor for this? Look at this shit, you guys. Did I not just say, yeah, guys, oh my God, I can't. I just got chills. This person had a fucking divine feminine in their life. Didn't I tell you guys that only a divine feminine can change a man like this? There's no mother that can do it. There's no brother. There's no sister that can do it. It takes real genuine love, compassion, and no finger fucking pointing. If any family members are watching, no finger fucking pointing. But understanding, not misunderstanding, not only understanding how you want to understand shit. Wow. So there's a mentor, there's an, a divine feminine, there's an empress mentor here. Libra Taurus energy here. Yeah. This is this person's destiny. <laughs> this was part of this person's destiny was to meet this divine feminine and bring them out of this dark dark mental energy and to separate them from family and friends and, and let them see how amazing they really are holy shit you guys justice that's justice for this family and friend group who wanted to keep this masculine energy constantly like this always feeling the need to freaking uh, defend themselves and have to explain themselves i feel like this divine feminine taught this masculine how to fight back i really do this is amazing I knew that she was going to come out, you guys, right? I knew it. Yeah, look, the King of Wands. So there's an Empress here that's teaching a fire sign masculine energy how to fight and fend for themselves. Whether this is like, it could be physical if it came down to it, right? It could be physical, but I feel like it's just knowing their worth. Somebody knows their motherfucking worth now, and it's because of a woman. Yeah. Yeah. She turned, look at this shit, you guys. She turned this fire sign into a fucking divine masculine, period. That's a wrap on that. I'm ending it there. Somebody was in a mental prison and there's a divine feminine who took this masculine and completely changed this dude. We can do shit like that. That's how you know you're a real divine feminine. When you're in a masculine's life, do you change them for the better or do you drag them the fuck down? That's how you know. So for everybody who's claiming to be a divine feminine and shit, right? But you don't want to help your masculine be the best version of themselves. You just want to knock them and talk about whoever they're with now and shit. You're not a divine feminine. All right. I'm out, you guys. I love you. I'll be back later. Bye.